Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. It is an Amazon favorites video. Now I will say, if I got everything that I have from Amazon that I love, this would be a very long video. So what I did was I pulled my top 10 favorites from Amazon. These are things that I use every day. Um, they are like staples for me because there are so much stuff that I get from Amazon around the house. And um, I also have a bunch of classroom stuff from Amazon. So that is going to be a whole separate video. I chose to do kind of like my lifestyle tech stuff in one video and then my classroom teaching Amazon favorites I will do in a whole other video because I have a whole other group of products for that video as well. So for all of these products, I will be sure to link them in the description box below. Also, I will put the prices of what they are as well up on the screen. Um, all of these are very affordable. There was a couple like big item uh, products that I have on my list. But other than that, I mean, I look for deals on Amazon. That's another reason why I love Amazon is because you can really watch the price and you can look for sales. So the first item that I have is an organizational item, and it is this eyeglass case. I've just been really recently loving getting a bunch of different eyeglasses, switch it out with my outfit, stuff like that. Um, I have eyeglasses from iBody Direct, some I have from Firmu, and I think I might even have one from Zenny Optical, but... By far, iBuy Direct has been my favorite and my go-to when it comes to switching on my eyeglasses because you can order glasses for really cheap from that company. And I actually have a link that you can get $10 off of your eyeglass frames. Um, so be sure if you want to get some eyeglasses from iBuy Direct, you can use my code and get a really good discount. But this holds 12 eyeglasses and it has these clear drawers. I like that they're clear because then I know what I'm grabbing for and they just slide in and out. I just keep this on a shelf right by the bathroom so that I can look in here and see what I want to grab for the day. So here's like the side of it. It's really pretty because it's glass. You can see your frames. I really, really like this one. The next product from Amazon is this robe. I think actually on Amazon they called it a kimono, um, but it's a robe and it's that silky smooth material. A lot of times like brides will have their bridesmaids dressed in these for photos um, and I've always wanted one and then I saw one on Amazon and I couldn't resist because it is so soft and I have robes for like when you want to cozy up but when you just get out of the shower and you're hot I don't like to put on like a big poofy robe. I want something that I can wear in the summertime as well and I just think this is so pretty. It's so soft. It has the strap that you can tie just like a regular robe and then it also has the straps on the inside to give you some extra like um, security I guess when you're tying your robe up but this is really really comfy and it was really cheap from Amazon. The next couple of products are essential oil based. If you don't know I love essential oils. I chose to go with Young Living for my essential oils but all of these products can be used with any types of essential oils um, so it's really up to you. But the first item I got was this diffuser. I love the wood of it. It also has a bunch of different options so it's not just like a switch on and off. You can do one hour, three hours, six hour, um, and then you can also just turn the light on or keep the light off because sometimes when I'm diffusing, I don't always want to have the light on, so that's a really nice feature. This one puts out so much of the steam that it totally fills the entire room that it's in with the essential oil smell. Um, it's just really a wonderful, wonderful diffuser, and it was not a lot of money. Sometimes diffusers can get really high up there, depending on who you get it from. Amazon has a bunch of different ones that are really cheap, and this one, like I said, I just love that wood, natural look to it. So when I got into essential oils, I really wanted to start kind of switching out some of my household items and also just making different like recipes and stuff like that and having fun with them. So one of the things I first did when I got into essential oils was I picked up from Amazon these amber spray bottles. I got two, it was actually a pack of two, and I was on there earlier and I was looking today at these amber bottles and they have bigger packs as well. You can also get a single one, but I knew I wanted two because I wanted I wanted one to make like a Febreze style of spray, which is this one um, with the Refresh Spray label that I put on it. This is just like with my Cricut. I put this on with some vinyl. And then this one I use the Young Living Thieves Cleaner, which 
is amazing. It's seriously amazing. This amber bottle is awesome. Um, it's glass, so you're not going to have any plastic going into the contents of your bottle. Um, also, it is protecting your essential oils that are in there from UV, so that is why you might see a lot of essential oil things in like a tinted glass like this brown or that blue. Um, they do have these in blue as well if you're more into the blue, but I just really like the amber. I think it's really pretty. They're really good quality. They never clog or anything. The spray is really nice on this. Um, so yeah, like I said, these have got for a two pack, but they have even bigger packs if you would want them. Also, they just really look nice when you sit them on your counter or anything um, versus like a product bottle um, of spray. I just think they're really, really pretty and they weren't that expensive, so that's always a plus. Going along with some essential oil items, I also picked up a household item which is these wool dryer balls. These are all natural. They're amazing because you put a couple in the dryer, like let's say it's a large load, you could do maybe like three or even four, and it cuts down on your drying time, so it saves energy, um, it saves you money. And then what I love about these is you can take your favorite essential oil and put a few drops on each of these, throw them in the dryer, and then that is a way that your clothes can smell really awesome without all the chemicals. It's also going to keep your clothes really, really soft. It's going to help those heavier clothes not get like all clumped up in the dryer as well. So these were a pack of six. I think they might have packs of more or less, um, but that's just what I found is a pack of six. And I just keep them in a little container right now. <laughs> They're in this little Halloween basket just for, you know, the holidays, for Halloween and fall. But we keep these right by our dryer. Just throw them in when you're ready. Um, and they're reusable. That way you're not throwing away all those dryer sheets as well. The next item is a little bit of a tech item. So I love my iPad and I love my Apple Pencil. I draw with it. I use it for my Etsy products. Um, I even got into digital planning for a little bit. But this product that I found from Amazon is just so helpful if you are using the Apple Pencil for anything. It is this little grippy. It's amazing. So it is a like silicone, I guess it's silicone, it's just that like grippy texture. What I really love about this pencil is you don't have to take the whole grippy off to charge the Apple Pencil. You can just lift this part of the grippy right off. So it looks like that, it just comes off really, really easily and then you can take this part off and charge your, um, your Apple Pencil. So you don't have to take the whole thing off and worry about that when you're charging it. It just slides in and out very, very easily and this was so cheap on Amazon. They have a bunch of different colors. Um, I just feel like it holds in my hand so much nicer when I'm drawing with my Apple Pencil with the Procreate app. I don't know, something about this. I just really like it versus this very slick material that the Apple Pencil has. So if you're into the Apple Pencil and the iPad, I really suggest you get one of these grippies. The only thing I will say is I have not been able to find a case where um, this can fit into like the Apple Pencil slot only downfall but it's not a deal breaker for me I think this is nice enough that I don't really worry uh, about it fitting into my case the next two products are kind of random but they have to do with lighting um, so the first one are these flashlights these are called the knuckle lights and I found these on Amazon when I wanted to get into running in the mornings um, because it's still dark out so uh, a friend suggests these to me and they really are amazing. So what they do is, first of all, they're magnetic and they just magnet together to store them. Also, they come with this charger and they just fit right in here to charge them and it just goes into your wall like that. Um, and then a light comes on to tell you if they are charged or not at the bottom. But when you're ready to use these, you just take them off and they're called knuckle lights because they fit right on your knuckles like that. So that way when you are running, they're not going to go anywhere. You don't have to worry about holding anything. You can still make sure that your hands are relaxed um, and they just fit right on there. Now they have three different settings. The first one is a dimmed light. The second one is a bright light. And then the third one is actually kind of like a strobe light where it just blinks on and off. So what I like to do if I'm running um, at night, I will just keep it on the regular bright light. But then if I see a car or somebody 
coming and they might not be able to see me, I will quick switch it to the strobe light and that way it blinks and I can try to get their attention quick and say, hey, I'm over here. <laughs> so these are awesome for runners, but it's also if you like to walk, if you have to walk your dog and it's dark out. These are amazing for that. I can hold one of these and still hold Dixie, my dog's leash, in my hand as well. Um, and it lights up her, it lights up where I'm going. And it even doesn't change like how much I can see by my um, stride and by my arms moving. It doesn't seem to bother me. I don't like see the lights going up and down at all. I think because it is so just fluid. Another thing these are really great for is if you are into camping, we always take these camping with us. You can just take one and then slip it into that little pocket in your tent or your camper or whatever. But these are great to have because they are small and the charge holds really long. We have gone camping for, I guess, probably two nights um, and they've still been charged the next day. And we put them back on the charger, but I don't know how long they honestly would go before dying because they just have never died for me. Um, and that's been over, like I said, two nights using them. Um, they're just really great lights. They're really strong lights, bright lights. If you're a runner, outdoorsy at all, definitely suggest these knuckle lights. The other lighting system that I'm going to suggest to you guys to get on Amazon is under cabinet lights. When we moved into this house, we rent this house right now, and so we couldn't like install things, um, obviously, because we're renting, but the lighting under the cabinets was terrible. And you know, you figure you're cleaning there, you're doing food prep there, like that's some place that you want lit up. And since we couldn't install something, I was trying to brainstorm a way to get more light under there. So of course, I went and looked on Amazon, and I found these under the cabinet LED lights that are also dimmable and it came with a bunch of like screws and things to install them which was totally difficult so instead I just took um, some of the mounting tape like the sticky mounting tape and I put it on each end of the little sliver of the light stuck it up under the cabinet it connects to every light and it connects to a remote so the best part is is that you can use the remote which we do it every day multiple times a day you use the remote to turn them on, turn them off. If it's at night and you want a little bit of a dimmer light, I always dim it. So if you have anywhere in your house where it's a little dark under a cabinet or something, I mean, I feel like you could use these for a lot of different areas. Even a classroom you could use these for, but they weren't that expensive. I think I got a pack of six, and they are LED, so it's a nice light. Um, they're really awesome. The next product from my Amazon favorite list is one that you don't have to get at Amazon, um, but we did because the price was right and we also had a gift card to Amazon so it worked out. But we got our food processor from Amazon and it is amazing. We got the 11 cup, I think it's pronounced Cuisin Art. Like we thought it was like Cuisine Art but I'm pretty sure it's called Cuisin Art. I don't know. But we got the 11 cup uh, food processor in gunmetal. Uh, the color and so it's just like a nice like dark almost like a space gray but it is an amazing amazing food processor like if you're in the market for one I totally suggest you get this one maybe a different size I know that I think they have smaller ones and it might even have a bigger one I'm not sure this might be the biggest one but it's amazing for cutting veggies um, this year in the garden we had so many tomatoes so we made so much sauce we made salsa I've made pesto but even just for like cutting up celery and onions and all that kind of stuff it saves so much time it's so fast shredding cheese amazing like you definitely need this food processor if you are into cooking or any of that kind of stuff especially like food prep for big things like canning and making soups and all of that fun stuff so this was I think a hundred dollars um, which like I said was cheaper than the other places that we could find it and then we also had a gift card so it ended up being like I think eighty um, or seventy five dollars it was not expensive at all and we use it a lot it's a really really good product the next product you've probably seen me with if you watch any of my vlogs it is my Yeti cup I love this thing I know there are a bunch of different types of Yeti cups out there, smaller, bigger, but I just really like this one, um, and it can take a beating because I have dropped this thing multiple times, and there's a few nicks, but like nothing that you can really notice unless you're really searching for it. Um, and I've dropped it on the concrete, uh, on the road, like the pavement, and it has not broken. So that is amazing. Also, I purchased two different lids. So this is actually 
the lid that it came with. Um, it's the sliding like coffee lid. So this black part in the lid pops right off of that. So then you can lift that out and clean underneath of it, which is awesome because I feel like a lot of those sliding lids for coffee mugs, like that's where it kind of gets dirty. You have to be careful. Um, so it's a big, strong magnet. It just sits right in there and slides back and forth. So when it fell, that came off. Um, I thought it was broken, but no, it wasn't. It wasn't broken at all. And then I ordered on Amazon an extra lid and I got the tumbler lid. So it came with this top and then just a straw. Um, you can get different straws for your Yeti. I see a lot of people getting the metal straws and I kind of do want to do that. But for now that this is what I have, it keeps my water really cold. I love it. I refill it during the day, but um, it's, it's just like a really heavy duty, good quality water bottle, tumbler, coffee mug, it can be a bunch of things, which is another reason why I like it. Alright everybody, that is everything for my Amazon favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make for you guys. If you have any Amazon favorite products, leave it in the description box below. I would love to see some of the things that you guys like. Also, don't forget, all of these products will be in the, my description box with a little link that you can go and check out the product. And I will also try to list the prices if I didn't already in the video. I will do it in the description box. Be sure to keep a lookout for my classroom Amazon favorites video as well. That will be coming out soon with all of the goodies that I buy for my classroom. I will try to narrow it down to about 10 items, kind of like the same as this. So we will see. I was paging through all of my past orders and I have a lot of classroom stuff, but we'll try. If you like videos like this, before you go, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.